programming bytes or the terrible mambas doth linger in pairs. When I was a baby, one of the most important lessons, or so I thought, was that mambas, a kind of a cheerful and cheerfully deadly snake, always try to get you in pairs. I always imagined that once you fling the first danger noodle away, you have to turn around and grab the other one about to bite you and chuck that one too. I also learned that some islands float and not to fidget too much when stuck in quicksand, presumably just die calmly. These lessons came from my now lost but once fantastic library of extremely educational European comic books. I am yet to test out the quicksand. It's not as quick as it claims, I guess. And unless your mom is in the water, the islands probably don't actually float, but rather move along with the tectonic plates. But, you know what? The mambas freaking attack me on a weekly basis. From an end-user perspective, when something is broken in a computer program, it's a little bug. You get the programmers to fix it and move on. But from the programmer's perspective, things are a bit different. It's a different creature. A bug is just a missed deadline or an unfortunate moth, or in many cases, an unfortunate truth. The really, really real problems are only seen by program managers shortly before they mutter, are you fucking kidding me right now? And begin their secret search for the next job. So the program is not even shipped to the public. The trouble here are not just cute little bugs. Those are the mambas, the deadly creatures in the cold. <laughs> and oh my gosh, they never come alone. Those bugs are multi-layered. And while most often they rip your code apart in pairs, they do sometimes come in threes and sometimes fours and sometimes even fives. But you can't really fix that. Once you have four or five layers of bugs, you really want to use the existing program for snippets and chastity and just rewrite everything from scratch. So how does a mamba strike occur? It's sharp, swift, hopped up on Java, and there's nothing regular about it that can be expressed in any reasonable way. You run your program, you get a simple bug, a tiny little sting. It is just an unfinished thing, you can fix it, no problemo. And that is where the other mamba gets you in the eye. It wasn't a tiny bug at all, and your clever little fix didn't even matter because something entirely different was happening. But no, 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 you don't know this yet, because you're half blind from the mamba. You think to yourself, oh yeah, my fix was nice and perfect, obviously did its thing, but I need to view it in a broader context. Whatever broader context means in this context, just changed all the freaking files on the website, including the audio files, which aren't even generated. What is actually going on is that your little bug didn't quite happen. 
You just hit a colon in your title inside a YAML file. The generator crashed as soon as it could. Exit early is an amazing strategy for dealing with what becomes infinite complexity. But the Mambas are clever. That is why they are so dangerous. The first snake is squirming in your internet service provider's network gear. The ISP you see is rolling out IPv6 support, which is totally invisible to you. You can't know any of this. It is a transparent upgrade to all the users, except you, the programmer. Because your program is using an older library that requires extra code, several lines in fact, for IPv6 support. That is the second Mamba. And now, you have just basically become the third one, yes. Your little fix changed all the timestamps because in your wisdom your defensive programming made you rename the distribution folder that's why the timestamps have changed and you know you just regenerated a new website truly from scratch just to be sure you are dealing with the right thing the right bug or whatnot but now, with the two Mambas firmly attached, you've lost your mind and don't even know what renaming a directory does in this situation. Because now you too are a Mamba out on the lookout for some bites.